Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to my channel. This is uh, April with Ms. April Peas channel. Um, basically, today's video is um, kind of a request. Um, another YouTuber on here, a friend of mine. Um, wanted to know if um, she could use Pig Monkey to crop her. Basically, take herself out of the photo and change her background. And yes, you can. In today's video, I'm going to show you two ways of doing so. Um, and if you're interested in checking out her channel, she has um, a lot of uh, makeup and story times and such. Um, I'll link her channel down below. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get into this video because um, I can try to keep it a little bit shorter than what I've been doing. But I try to give you guys the full depth of what I'm doing step by step because it'll be frustrating when you're trying to follow along and you're not talking or it's just music and you don't know what the next step is. So, sorry about that. Anyway, um, go to paypunky.com and I'm just going to put in the, the, the dimensions for a thumbnail. I'm just kind of keep it simple. Just for this video. Lady seven twenty is the size of a thumbnail, but like I said, I'm just doing this for this video. So wait for that to load up. Okay, now what you can do is go over here to the overlays button and just um, find you a background that you have already saved. I have some already saved. Um, a good place to look is Tumblr wallpapers, Tumblr backgrounds, and another thing you can do is uh, to go into the tools. Let's see here. Go over here into the tools and go into the size and put in the ex you know, exact size that you're looking for. That does help things out a little bit. Like I said, you can go into the desktop here and find any wallpaper, just anything. I'm just going to find um, something I don't want. See if there's anything here that suits my fancy. Let's try this one. Okay. Move this overlays box over here out of my way. Put this in the corner and just grab the corner and drag it out. And place it how you see fit, but it does need to cover all the corners. White. That canvas and then go back into the overlays. Find the photo that you want to remove the background. Um, use this one. That's my daughter. She represents in this video. Just to kind of show you guys a go right here. Next to basic, you click on the eraser, and this gives you bigger eraser, and this gives you smaller, so more uh, precise eraser. Go ahead and take up some of these bigger areas. Such. And then, of course, you'll have Small in the eraser in order to you know, get a more precise um, erase so you don't have such harsh edges. It helps with you know, remaining time so you're not sitting here. Then you can go down here to the bottom and zoom in. So you can see things a little bit better when you're erasing them. Because actually they are in a room that has pink paint on the wall. I guess um, my older daughter put a filter on there so it looks darker than what it actually is in the room. But basically that's you know how you would change it one way. But of course you would go in here and you would do better than what I'm doing because I'm just uh, trying to show you guys the basics of how you would 
do this. Yeah, you know, you know, go in here and clean it up with a small eraser and zoom it in so you can see better and get around corners better and things like that. And that's how you do that. And then when you're done with it being zoomed in, you can go back down here and zoom it out to the way you want it and place it wherever you want it. But that is one way you do it. Another way would be to go in back into to paint monkey. Choose the size of your canvas. Like I said, I'm using 1280, 720, which is a size. I'm that size. Wait for this page to load. I'm going to click right here where it says transparent. I'm going to apply that to the canvas so I have a transparent canvas. Then I'm going to go to the overlays. I'm going to go up here, add to my computer, and find the photo that I would like to remove the background and just make myself transparent. Put that photo right there. Drop it in here. And basically, you're going to do the same thing you did last time. I'm going to move the overlays on this side. I'm just make it on that side better. And then you're going to select the eraser size. And then you're just going to go in there and erase that background like such. And now, um, once you get done, like I said, this is on the other photo, you would go in there and be, you know, a little bit more precise than what I'm doing because I'm just trying to give you guys a quick how-to. Basically, you would be transparent when you got done. Of course, you would have to go in there and make the eraser smaller to get around the head and things like that. Like I said in the other one, go down here and zoom in for a more precise erase. So I can get the chair out from behind me and the wall from behind me. A small eraser tool would help you do that. I'm sure you can see right over here. I mean, and if you make any mistakes, you just go down here and hit the back button and, you know, hit back once and it will erase your last step. Um, if you need to go any further back, you can just hit the back button again to restore it back to its original form. I said you just go around and take your time. Just make sure you get all the different things out that you want to. Now, basically, when you're done doing it this way, you will be transparent and you can reuse this photo you know, multiple times on multiple different projects. You could insert this in a video, you could, you know. Um, overlay this on another photo, just whatever you wanted to do with it. And then you, know, you just go up here, and you could choose a background, like I said, and then another one you could choose a background and put it in there. Um, like this. So I'm just going to grab a new photo, just top. Thank <laughs> you. 
Overlays box, bring up the overlay, just click on myself, um, go to the eraser, and you can see that there's still some spots that were missed, but you would just go ahead in there and clean that up. And then if you don't want that background, or you just want to keep yourself transparent, go over to the layers block. Box, click on that layer that we added right here, delete it, and then if you want to save yourself, you just go up here and export it to your computer. Uh, make sure it says PNG, go ahead and label it, and then go ahead and export that to your device. Um, I hope this video was helpful to everybody. And if you enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to comment down below if you have any video suggestions or you'd like to know how I do any of my video editing. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy your day.